Today we're going to be showing you how to gain access to the uh, internal electrical components of the WS68N series. And before we begin, we're going to make sure that all power has been cut to the unit, whether it be by shutting off the breaker or unplugging it from the outlet. Once we verify that there's no power going to the unit, then we can go ahead and uh, begin. And we're going to start by removing the glass. Uh, but in this case, since it is an island hood, we're not going to be able to remove it completely, so we're actually going to prop it up. Uh, so first things first, we're going to remove the four screws that are located in each corner of the glass. Uh, let's, we'll go ahead and get those out, and from there it's going to free up the glass, and we're going to be able to prop it up. Okay, now that we have the glass uh, propped up, we're actually going to go ahead and uh, gain access to the uh, internal components by removing this panel right here. Uh, but I just want to make, uh, we'll take note that we're actually using the uh, foam from the uh, original box. Now, you may be able to use something different just as long as it holds up the glass and it's not going to damage it. Uh, now, the reason we're actually doing this is because we actually don't want to actually completely remove the range hood, which this actually makes the process much easier. And uh, for, the, uh, for the demo purpose right now, we're actually going to go ahead and just move the glass to the side so that you can get a clear view of what we're going to be working with on, on the internals. But this is what it's going to look like when you actually prop it up. Okay, now that we set the side glass to give you a, a clearer view of what we're going to be working with, uh, you're going to notice that there's going to be a panel sitting uh, right on top of the body, uh, right behind the control switch. Uh, this main panel actually uh, harnesses uh, all of the electrical components. Uh, there's actually two panels. There's one in the back and one in the front. The one in the back is uh, mainly only for uh, gaining access to the, uh, to the two LED lights that are sitting in the back. Other than that, all of the electrical components for the, uh, well, for the operation of the unit are sitting under this panel right here. So we're going to begin by removing these two screws, one here, one there. Once we get those off, we can go ahead and uh, take this panel off. Okay, now that both screws have been removed, we can actually go ahead and remove the panel. And as you can see, once we remove it, we're going to set this aside. Now we have access to all of the uh, internal components of the, uh, of the range hood. And also caution, um, there may be some sharp uh, items here, so make sure that you are wearing protective gloves when you're working in this area. And just be sure to take your time and not work quickly. <laughs> 